today's video, what would you do if Lyft gave you $1,000 and they gave you the option to buy pre-IPO stock in their company? Well, that happened to me, and in this video, I'm going to break it down for you. And stick around, because at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you exactly what I did and how I stand right now. It is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy, and in fact, Lyft did send me an email, and they said, because I had done 10,000 rides and I was a, a driver in good standing, they were going to give me $1,000. And if I wanted to, I could buy stock in their company before the IPO, which was last Friday. So I thought, hmm, what should I do? So on the one hand, I was really grateful that I got $1,000, but let's break this offer down. So Lyft gave me this bonus of $1,000 for doing 10,000 rides. But they also had another bonus. If you did 20,000 rides, you got $10,000, 10 times the amount. So someone like me that has nearly 15,000 rides, which means I'm halfway between 1,000 and 10,000, still only get 1,000. So I'm grateful that I got $1,000. Don't get me wrong, but I wish Lyft would have done a tiered program so that Drivers who did 8,000, 9,000, 12,000, 18,000 could get paid proportionately rather than it's either 1,000 or 10,000. Now, of course, Lyft, it's a brilliant PR move. They didn't have to pay out too much money because God knows there aren't too many people that have 10,000, let alone 20,000 rides under their belt specifically and only for Lyft. So they got to say, hey, world, we're, we're, we're honoring the loyalty of our drivers we're given $10,000 bonuses, but in fact, there aren't many people who got it. So I'm grateful, yes, and I think it could have been done a lot more uh, fair to all drivers. So what would you do, invest or just take the money and run? Now, most people I've heard of just took the money. Um, my thought process was it's $1,000. It wasn't money I was expecting, so why not throw it into the market? But then I thought, well, what if, what if Lyft tanks and, and my $1,000 suddenly becomes only $500, right? That's a concern. And then I heard that there was this lockup period, which means that you get the stock, but you can't sell it for a certain amount of time. So I started to get some um, emails from Fidelity, and they said that, in fact, there would be a 180-day lockup period for everybody with the exception of the drivers. So I thought, well, that means I could sell it right away. Maybe it'll go up fast and stay up for a while and then drop, right? And then I could at least sell it when it got high. So I decided to go for it. I said, let's do it. Let's, uh, let's buy the stock. Now the pricing of the stock was an interesting thing. So I got an email from Fidelity and they told me that I needed to um, indicate my interest once they set the price. And the current price at first was between 62 and $68 a share. Then the next day I got an email that said it had been bumped up to $70 to $72 a share. Then I got a final email that said it was $72 locked in and I needed to commit to buying my shares. And I could only buy up to $1,000. So I could only get 13 shares and stay under my $1,000 limit. So it would have been better if I could have bought it at 62 and it ended up I had to buy it at 72. So now what will I do with my stock? So when the stock went public on Friday, it did go up. It went up to about 86. And I had heard from Jim Cramer on CNBC that he thought the stock would get all the way up to 100. So that was in my mind what I was thinking was, let's let it get to 100 and then, uh, then I'll, I'll sell. But then what happened was at the end of the day on the first day, it dropped down to I think 79. And then on Monday, it just went down to 66. And as you can see in this graph, it's now it's at around 69. And that was yesterday. Today, it's still around 69. It got up to about 71, and then it went to 69. And, you know, it's just going to kind of hover around there. So what I did do is I put in what's called a stop loss order. So that means uh, I set it at $60. So if the stock goes all the way to 60, then I say sell, 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 sell. That'll cut my losses, right? So if I have 13 shares and, and I'm losing $12 a share, I haven't done the math, but it's about $150 a loss. 
So uh, that I'm protected. So that's the most I could lose. And at this point, because the stock market has been kind of lukewarm to lift, right? Um, I think if it gets back to 75, I will sell and uh, reap, reap like $100 of earnings or maybe it's only $50 worth of, of extra on top of my thousand. But frankly, it would be just great to get my thousand back and, and be done with it. So in summary, I did it. I bought the stock. I really don't think Lyft long-term is, is a great investment because they haven't figured out how to make money yet. They're in quite a bit different position than Uber. Uber's in so much more of the world. They're so much bigger. They have Uber Eats, which is making money. They're further along with the autonomous vehicles. I just think Uber uh, is an institution that will, will find ways to make money. Lyft, I'm not sure. So as soon as I can, I'm gonna let my stock go. But it's been great fun. And I've been able to do a lot of TV interviews and, and, and radio interviews. People have wanted to ask me, you know, as a driver, what did I think about this and how is it gonna go? So it's been a great educational experience and well worth whatever money I might lose um, from my bonus, which wasn't even my money to start with in the first place. I hope you enjoyed this inside look in the stock market and the Lyft IPO. This is Jay Creator with The Rideshare Guy. Thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed yet to this wonderful channel, The Rideshare Guy YouTube channel, where we bring you lots of news, tips and techniques, ways to make yourself a better driver, then come join our team, subscribe. If you like the video, give it a like. If you have a comment, leave a comment. We'd love to hear what you think. Y'all go out and have a great day. Be safe out there.